This, this protest happened right after the government had arrested Sheikh Nimr Nimr. If anybody's been following what's going on in Saudi Arabia, he was executed in January of this year. For protesting. Uh, for supporting the protests, right. And so this was a m massive show of support that he had on the ground. Uh, so to me, I, I wasn't terrified because in, in, in the end, I know there is uh, the BBC behind me that will try to get me out. The, the real question is, why are they not terrified? Why were they able to go out and protest? And I think the key to a lot of these protests is not just the poverty, although yes, you're living in an oil-rich country, the oil wells are right there. But I think discrimination is a better way to describe what's going on in Saudi Arabia, where these people feel discriminated against. The level of unemployment in Saudi Arabia, especially for young men and women, is extremely high. For, for a lot, there is a frustration that they feel there is a lot of wealth in the country, yet we are being discriminated against. There is, uh, there is no there's no horizon of a solution. The government still hasn't figured out um, the, the best way to communicate with their people. They're so used to having a one-way communication with them, and they are not used to having the people wanting to have their own say as well in how the country is run. And especially now, the country more than ever needs to renegotiate that relationship with the people, and they are unable or unwilling to do so. First of all, I, I felt like I did not risk my life. I felt like the people in the film, they risk their life and their free freedom to do it, um, to do what they do, and compared to them, um, my experience is temporary. I was only filming um, the story for three months, and they lived their life every day and continue doing that. And when I started making the film, I felt like I was a very naive person that I did not know any politics. I had never met an activist before. I had never seen a protest in China before because all the information is controlled. And not only me, people like me at my age, they, can, they don't know a lot of things. Um, in fact, so you said your friends didn't even believe you, and they still don't even believe you that the government is doing something counter to what they hear. Yeah, so for example, when I started filming the first day, the activist had to do a testimony on video saying, we are going to the protest tomorrow. If anything happened, if we, uh, if we are found dead, it's not an accident, because in China, it happened before when you go to protest, and then the next day, protesters are found dead and the government would release a statement saying that they committed suicide. So when I said I wanted to go and film the protest, they asked me to do a similar video testimony, and I was doing that saying, my name is Nam Fu, I'm going to the protest, if anything happened to me, it's not an accident. And while saying that, I thought it was funny, but then as gradual in the following months, what happened, it turned out it's not funny at all, it's reality.